I See What You Mean by John Erickson and Jennifer Tilson, illustrated by Stacy Schubert. Read by Miss Tuxhorn. I See What You Mean. An amplified book from fourth grade unit Vision and Light. Jayla and Zoe were at Jayla's house one day after school. Jayla's mom had gone to the store that day and bought some delicious ripe peaches to snack on. Jayla got a peach to share with jo Zoe. She held it in her hand while she and Zoe looked it over to make sure it didn't have any bruises. Looking at the peach got them thinking. Jayla said, I can see that this peach looks perfect. I can see that too. I wonder why it is that we can see this peach. What makes it possible for us to see it? Zoe asked. Jayla and Zoe smiled at each other because they both liked to think and talk about things that they noticed and wondered about. They often asked each other questions to try and figure things out. Jayla bent down next to the table so that the peach was at her eye level. She said, You asked why we can see the peach, and my answer is that I see the peach because I'm looking at it. The minute she said it, she knew that answer wasn't complete. It made her wonder, how did vision work anyways? But, Jayla continued slowly, I guess just looking at something isn't the whole story, is it? My eyes have to get information about the peach. I couldn't see this peach in the dark, even if I looked right at it. So I guess I could say that I see the peach because I am looking at it and because there is light in the room. The peach is in the light, so I see the peach. I see what you mean, said Zoe, and they both laughed. But still, there must be more to it. Doesn't the light have to come from somewhere? Right, exclaimed Jayla. We know that light comes from a source. And the source of the light in this room is this lamp. So we must see the peach when I look at it because light is coming from the lamp. And the peach is in the light. Zoe looked thoughtful. You said that the peach is in the light which makes it sound like the light is just sitting there, like a pool of water. I don't think it's quite right. You're right. The light doesn't just sit there. It travels in straight lines, said Jayla. If we could draw how light travels, Jayla continued, we'd draw arrows from the lamp to the peach to show that light travels from the lamp and some of it shines on the peach. Jayla rolled the peach around in the light of the lamp and observed it closely. The light makes the peach bright. I'm looking at the peach, so I see it, she finished. Jayla looked expectantly at Zoe. Would this explanation be enough for her? I see what you mean, said Zoe again, and, say, and Jayla grinned. She knew where this was going. Zoe continued, but I still think there's more to it. How does the peach become bright? The lamp is bright because it has light coming from it, but there isn't any light coming from the peach, is there? Actually, there is light coming from the peach, said Jayla. I see the peach because there is light reflecting off it. The peach reflects light from the lamp. She drew an imaginary line with her finger to show the light reflecting off the peach. Now Zoe looked genuinely confused. Wait a minute, she said. I don't get it. How can a peach reflect light? Shiny things like foil and mirrors reflect light. I know that for sure, but a peach? Are you kidding? Jayla realized that Zoe needed to observe light reflecting off the peach in order to understand her idea. 
Zoe was going to need some evidence if she was going to believe that the peach could reflect light, even though it wasn't shiny like a mirror. Jayla thought for a moment, then walked over to one of the kitchen drawers. She opened a drawer and pulled out a spoon, then dug around in the back of the drawer and br brought out a flashlight. She brought the spoon and the flashlight back to the table, where Zoe was turning the lamp on and off and tapping her feet, like she always did when she was thinking. Jayla turned on the flashlight and aimed the aimed it at the spoon in her other hand. She explained, You're right. Shiny things do reflect light. When I shine this flashlight on the shiny spoon, the spoon reflects the light, and the reflected light makes a bright spot on the table. That's what I said, said Zoe. I can see the light reflecting off the spoon you're holding, and I already would have guessed that the spoon would reflect light. Now watch this said Jayla. She moved the flashlight so that it was shining on the peach. When I shine the flashlight on the peach, the tablecloth looks a little brighter near the peach. That's evidence that the peach is reflecting light. I do see that, and I guess it's pretty convincing evidence that the peach is reflecting light, said jo Zoe. So I understand that the peach reflects light too, it just doesn't reflect light the same way that the spoon does. Right. The peach reflects light, and I am looking at the peach, so I see the peach. Jayla sat down and crossed her arms, convinced that she had finished the explanation. Zoe looked at her quizzically. Well, I see what you mean, but here's one part I still don't understand. I know the peach is reflecting light, but what does that have to do with actually seeing the peach? Good question, explained Jayla, looking closely at the peach again. The peach is reflecting light into my eyes. If the light didn't reach my eyes, I couldn't see the peach. So light travels from the lamp and some of it shines on the peach. The peach reflects some of the light and some of the Light that is reflected by the peach travels to my eyes. And that is why I see the peach. So here, light is coming from the lamp, and it's reflecting in all directions, including towards Jayla's eye. I get it, said Zoe. Your explanation sounds pretty good to me. But there's one more thing I need to know. Did you really see the peach? Or do you just see the light that comes to your, you from the peach? That's an interesting way to think of it, said Jayla. I see the peach because I see the light that travels from the peach to my eyes. The light carries information about the peach. It tells me that the peach is pink, round, and fuzzy. That's what vision is all about, she explained. Anything you can see, you can see because that thing is reflecting light. Now I really see what you mean, said Zoe. She looked around the room. Hey, is that true for everything? What do you think of this explanation? I see the clock because light travels from the flashlight to the clock. The clock reflects light and then some of that light travels to my eyes. The light carries information about the clock. It tells me that the clock is round, white, with black marks on it. So light from the flashlight reflects off the clock and some of it comes back to her eye. Exactly! I think we figured it out, said Jayla. There's another explanation. I can see the tree outside the window because light travels from the sun to the tree. The tree reflects light and some of the light travels to my eyes. I think we've got this explanation down, but it makes me realize that I have other questions about vision. Me too, said Zoe, but I do have one more question about this peach. Can you see it now? No, Jayla laughed. There is no more peach. You ate it. 
Glossary. Evidence. Information that supports an answer to a question. Explanation. A description on how something works or why something happens. Observe. To use any of the five senses to gather information about something. Reflect. To cause light to bounce off of a material. Source. The place where something comes from. Vision. The ability to see. This book does not have an index because it is not a nonfiction book. It is a fiction book. Although the way that they are thinking is how I want you to think as a scientist. Once you have a, an explanation, question it. Does that make sense? Are there more questions that I can ask? Hmm, I see what you mean.